here. Come here. Good boy. There's my boy. So for this week, uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. That came to do Coggins in shots and that was kind of exciting because he got lost. GPS tried to take him in the back way, which the back way is a uh, red clay and so we ended up getting stuck, which then meant I ended up going on a little bit of an excursion with Fledge. Holly Bro came and did chiropractic work on some of the horses and also I had um, Amanda Moritz, which she does the massage and the deals with the fascia, fascia, I'm probably saying it wrong. That type of body work really does make a huge difference. I've noticed with my horses, so we get to see a little bit of uh, their stuff. And then I acquired a new Mustang this week, which his name is Sparks. He is a coming five-year-old Mustang and it's a little bit on the difficult end as far as um, he, he just has a high flight drive, so he ended up not uh, working out for the people who had him before. I decided to take him on because he seems to be like a nice athletic prospect. Taught lessons, had uh, several students come. It was a good week, good busy week. Off-roading Fledgy style. Oh, Fledge. Watch it, bud. Did you stop eating pine? Good boy. It was definitely a much better route than I took us. Um, you're gonna have to jump that log. <laughs> okay. Good boy. Oh, I see where you brought me. The fence line. Look at how smart you are. Ever need a homing pigeon? Get on the Mustang. I'll find your way back home. Yes, we made it. Johnny's getting beaten. It's like, where's my cookie? <laughs> it's like, I'm think I'm gonna get a treat. It's like, seriously, I can do it. See? I'm Gumby. <laughs> cookie? Like it's just important just to do the body work before you even bother trying to ride him. Yeah, especially when he's this locked up. Oh. I need to turn my heat lamps back on. No. My heat's gone. bad about he does not like me in his right eyeball so going this way he likes to turn and go the other way so at least now when I'm ground driving him which again he's really panicky about stuff touching him I can give him a task to do and not fighting with trying to control that eye so that good boy oh Okay, now let's do the scary part for you. I'm going to switch sides. Oh, that was good job, bud. You get to do this exercise for a while. And I got to keep him in the small pin because he gets going. He scares himself so bad. He runs so fast. And then 
if you lose your ropes, then he learns, oh, to get away from pressure, I'll have to do the run. So I have to keep him in here, but I also have to make sure I keep him safe. There you go. Balance. Oh, yeah, good. Wait. Very good.